Two new people will soon be representing the Topeka area in the Kansas Senate. They'll replace Governor-elect Democrat Laura Kelly and Republican Vicki Schmidt, who was elected as the state's next insurance commissioner. But they won't be chosen in a typical election. KSNT News reporter Hannah Brandt tells us how that process works. Hannah? Well, Jace, these replacements are chosen by what are called precinct committee members from their party, and then they're approved by the governor. The committee members are elected local leaders, and in the Topeka district that Kelly represents, there are 66 of them. It's a system Kansas shares with only three other states. The problem for the state of Kansas is in replacing a legislator, the state doesn't want to pay for a new election. And to be honest, most voters don't want to have a new election because they just went through it, and these kind of elections would get very, very low turnout. Democrat committee members will meet on Thursday to fill the remainder of Kelly's term. One of the four people vying for that spot is Lucas Ryan, a 21-year-old from Topeka. He'll have to earn votes from a majority of the precinct committee members to get the seat. The precinct committee people kind of get to pick people that they think are most valuable or represent their ideals the most. And I think that in order to truly represent all of the people in the Senate district, those conversations need to be had. Precinct committee people are elected officials themselves, and so they are accountable to the people in their precinct. Because replacements are chosen by precinct members, Dr. Beatty says it's helpful to be an experienced party insider. One is a very well-known uh, politician and legislator, one of the most accomplished uh, legislators really in, in the history of this area. Uh, Vic Miller being on so many different uh, legislative bodies. So you couldn't really ask for more experience uh, than Vic Miller. And so it's possible other candidates could be nominated on Thursday night, but Ryan says he doesn't mind the competition. I'd love to see myself elected, of course, but uh, I really, really hope that we see a strong field, that we see lots of challenges and lots of questions. I want this to be a fight to make sure that we have the best candidate and the best person sitting in that Senate seat. And a recent study by a KU professor found that almost one-fifth of current Kansas lawmakers have been appointed. The public is invited to attend tomorrow's meeting to appoint a replacement for Kelly, but they won't get to vote. Live from the studio, Hannah Brandt, KSNT News. All right, Hannah, thank you. And Vicki Schmidt's Senate seat will be filled in a similar way by Republican committee members. So far, though, Republican leaders have not said when that will be.